Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here. Today is going to be another fall decorate with me. I'm going to be decorating my coffee bar. I made an apple cider bar last year, so I'll link that down below. But this year I changed some things up and we actually redid this wall. So it will be different from my video from last year. But if you guys aren't already subscribed, I would love for you to join my channel here if you love all things decorating. I do decorate with me's, shop with me's, so if that kind of content interests you, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe so you never miss out on any videos from me. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright, so if you guys aren't familiar with my videos, I like to show most of what I'm going to decorate with. That way when I'm decorating, I can play relaxing music while I'm decorating. So. I want to start over here and tell you where everything's from. This copper pitcher is from Hobby Lobby. I thought that would be really pretty. I'm doing a bunch of copper for my apple cider bar, like copper accents. And then this wreath was from Marshalls. It's one of those dried wreaths. I love that so much. And then I actually bought this off of Etsy last year. I caved because I really wanted to find apple cider an apple cider one I thought this was perfect because it was red and I knew that would be a rare one to find even though it's a lot easier to find Ray Dunn nowadays I just really wanted that and I think it's really nice now over here I did haul this recently this is from Dollar General um, but this actually came with three mason jars that didn't have lids it was just open if you remember seeing that but at Dollar General they sold these separate mason jars um, they have I don't know if this will pick up a leaf imprint on the front and a leaf copper lid. So I thought, why not buy three more mason jars so I could put the lids, well, I even switched out the jar too because I wanted the leaf jar. So I just used those, the three that it came with originally, I just use them as cups now. But anyways, yeah, this copper matches this perfectly. So inside of here, I put caramel, powdered cinnamon, and more caramels. Over here, I have three more of those mason jars. Ideally, I would have gotten all the leaf lids and leaf jars, but they were out of them. So I just picked up one of the pumpkin ones, but it's going to be up on my shelf, so you won't be able to tell it's a little different. What was great is those were only a dollar. Also, I recently picked this up from Etsy. I love it. I customized it for Sydney's Orchard and Kitchen, apple cider and pie. This will be adorable because I am doing a pie vignette type thing in my kitchen as well so I just think this will be perfect for my kitchen it's adorable so I'm gonna hang that on one of my hooks I also recently hauled this Dollar General little basket and inside I just put some real apples thought that was so cute for my tiered tray it's the perfect little size and then over here I have this little Ray Dunn seasons bowl and inside I have these little faux mini apples so that it'll be like apple season, you know. I thought that was cute. I'm using some plain tea cups. This floral, this is from Hobby Lobby, bunny tail, and this neutral leaf. Then I have these mule mugs from Hobby Lobby. I have four of those. And then I have two of the little espresso cups to decorate with. And then I also have this little candle holder, but right now I have little berries inside of it. So I'm gonna use that to decorate. And then over here, I'm gonna use my tea canister. I'll probably put some floral in there. I have my coffee container, but inside, I have my apple cider little um, K-cups, and then this is my reusable coffee one. So I'm gonna have that there. Over here, I got these last year from Hobby Lobby. I had another one. Um, this says thankful, blessed, and I don't remember what the other one said. Grateful, probably. Um, my daughter broke it, so that's okay. I have, um, some, what are those? Oh, dried apples and cinnamon sticks. I don't think I showed over here. I have cinnamon sticks, dried apples, and more dried apples. And then over here, I have these two baskets that come with my coffee bar shelf. It's from Hobby Lobby. And inside, I just have some real apples that we can just take out and eat. But I like to decorate with real apples. And then here, this is really funny, but this is a basket that actually goes to my daughter's bike. We took it off recently because my son's been riding it and I don't know, for some reason it was just sitting in our shed. So I took it and put little twine on it to hang and I thought that that would be perfect to use to hold some more apples. And then I used this sign last year, it's adorable, it's from Etsy, fresh apple cider served hot or chilled. Thought that would be perfect. So I'm gonna use that again and I'll give you a quick overview again of everything. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment down below. 
Oh, and I already had this hung up. This was from Etsy. I used this last year as well. I just have that hanging over some hooks. And then this year I picked this up from Amazon. If you saw my last year apple cider bar, I actually made a sign very similar to this, but I don't know where it, where it went and it was probably too big for the space. So I already attached this to the wall with some command hooks. So I didn't want to take that back down. And then over here I just have some Faith and Farmhouse tea towels that have like cafe, cottage coffee house, um, a recipe for some latte or something. I always keep those there. And this tiered tray, Marshalls, and then I'm gonna put some stuff, probably my coffee on these to give it some height, these cutting boards. I have cutting boards there, and then these are empty to be decorated. And like I said, that shelf is from Hobby Lobby. But I think that's everything I wanted to share, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'd like to stack this right here so that it'll hide that outlet but I am gonna say now and before anyone comments this wall is going to be extremely busy I know that I like to keep my decor pretty pretty subtle but over here I'm not afraid to make it look extremely cluttered so this is gonna be cluttered but I like that for a coffee bar but anyways let's jump back in
guys, so that is everything for my second fall decorate with me. If you missed my first one, I'll link that down below for you as well. Definitely check that out of my living room and entryway. And then next, I have another really cute decorate with me, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a wonderful and blessed day. You'll always be at home.